So I started my, did my engineering in 85, COEP, ENTC. Uh, was desperate to pass out, believe me. I wanted to, I was dependent on my father and I wanted to make money. I wanted to be become independent. So that's how it all started. Got selected in the engineering college itself, the campus interview, and joined Sony also. Four years I was, worked very fast on top, man, joined as management trainee, almost got out as uh, head of engineering department. Four years and I thought that's enough of me, enough of it and got into management, into uh, my entrepreneurial journey. What led me to quit was, I became a contractor for uh, Raheja's Lokandola Builders to put up CATV and MATV systems for a few projects. See, I didn't have any money, right? And uh, uh, took up projects where the investment was very small. I would get the money for the next stage and then do that and then and, and, and I'll make some money. But I realized that this is also not for me. I've done engineering and what am I doing here? Contractor, ki tarah, I'm just pulling wire in the end of the day. The technology part is very small. I'm more doing labor work than, than doing any value addition. So quickly got into manufacturing. Started a small company called Spacecom Electronics in 1990. So four years I did work, one, one and a half year I was struggling, believe me. And often it came to my mind, ki yaar, no kri You know, <laughs> wait dikta. At least, but my salary was something like three, four thousand, three and a half thousand when I left. So very small. And I was very sure I'll be, this is not what I want to do. I want to be very rich guy. Okay. I mean, very honestly, I'm, I'm sharing what, whatever is being honest. Uh, so started nine, in 1990, started Spacecom Electronics. Manufacturing, CATV, passives. So if you see outside home in cable TV home, a wire comes into your house, there's a box over there. So it could be Spacecom. So the product was Spacecom splitters and taps. Okay, uh, put up a factory in a very small ten, seven by eight room, really, had really no money. So this was an office my dad had, which is, which is not being used. And I started using that. Actually, believe me, there was hole in the floor when I went in that. I had to break the door. So it could be that way. A very small place, but I thought, Karna yaar. Waha pe flooring ki. And I think I must have had something like few thousand rupees. But I got into manufacturing and uh, went to a dealer. Ye product hai. Usne ka hai. I gave him and the next day I got a call, I want more and I want more and I want more. But I went very systematically. I real I wanted to see who all could be the customers, which dealers are there, who sell this kind of equipment. Made a list on a, on, in a notepad. And believe me, in a very short time, I exceeded that list. I went to them and then they said, okay, we would like to have a look at it. Now, Interesting thing was I made Spacecom as my brand, but to get an entry, I would also make in their brand. Okay, he'll say, I don't know Spacecom. Spacecom couldn't, people couldn't pronounce it. Specom, Specom, people will say. So the word is Spacecom, Spacecom, okay? So I made for other people, Raju and Raju, there's a shop in Lamington Road and Monix and whoever. So to cut it short, I wanted to make a living. So I knew I want to do in my brand, but in a matter of a year, Spacecom was bigger than their brand. And they were they were said, we'd rather take Spacecom, yeah. So our brand showed tera hi de de, yeah. Okay, why? Because the customers were asking for that. Again, this is this this continued, this factory is still on. So I started in 1990. Unfortunately, I don't go there. Um, my team manages it. I go there once a year. And uh, Okay, it's doing okay. I wouldn't say because I, I couldn't, again, I couldn't see that this would make me where I want to go. So this is a product of 50 rupees. I make 20 bucks a product. I sell a fair amount actually those days. But then I said, yeah, abhi aage kya? 1999, the internet industry, ISP industry was coming across, right? 
I got, I took an ISP license and started ISP services in Delhi, as well as in Surat and Dombivili. Uh, again, in a couple of years, I realized that this business is also becoming extremely commoditized, and uh, decided that why don't I actually become a, make a software for the service for the ISP industry. So you know, there is a small saying that in the gold rush. In the gold rush, I don't know, I don't, you know, in California there was a gold rush where um, people will go to dig gold. So this is this is saying that the people who actually made money in the gold rush were the people who supplied spades. So it wasn't the people who were digging gold who made a lot of money, it was the people who were supplying spades who made more money. So rather than, again this is what I know now, but rather than being an ISP, I thought let me give a software to the ISP industry. So I was supplying the space and I still do. So we have a software company called Spacecom Software. Spacecom Technologies Limited was earlier. Now it's Spacecom Software LLP, which provides provisioning and complete software solutions to most tier two ISPs. So there are thousands of internet service providers in India and we supply a software, a complete business solution to them as of today. This company was started in 2000 and we are still doing fairly well. Uh, we have about a thousand odd customers all over India. So it's a SaaS model, it's a software as a service and we charge a per user per month. Okay, so mid-sized company, not small size company, but I'm very happy. Let me tell you something very clearly. Entrepreneurship is not for the light-hearted. If you think, if you are, uh, if you don't have it, if you're going to be afraid, of, of obstacles and if you give up or if you, then this is not for you. This is for people who don't give up. This is, entrepreneurship is the way you decide to live. This is the life I want to live. I want to live a life where I struggle, I have obstacles, I overcome those obstacles and I move to the next obstacle. So I have, um, you know, we all know how planets function. So what I be, say, this is your life, this is the center, you're in some orbit, and there's some other orbit, and then some other orbit, and then some other orbit, right? So we are in one particular orbit. And to go from one first orbit to the second orbit, you know, you very well know that it will need an escape velocity. You need, and it's not going to be easy. You, you, you know what I mean to say? So you all have to have that escape velocity to get to the next orbit. So if you want to move higher in your life, and higher I mean by not necessarily only making money, higher from whatever you define. Say you want to, you're playing cricket in the club level, maybe you want to go to this next level. You know, you want to go to the city level and then the state level and then the national level and the international level. So that's what I mean. I'm talking of an entrepreneur or even in otherwise in life. We get into one's orbit or one cycle of life. So that becomes our comfort zone. We, we keep working in that zone. Now sometimes we would be happy, sometimes we would not be happy. So if you're content, great. If you're happy, that's that's what we are all looking for, right? But if you're not, if you think, hey, I'm not, missing, not very happy, then you have to get your escape velocity. You have to get yourself uncomfortable. You have to get bubbly. And then you have to really put all your energy to get to your next orbit. And it's not going to be easy. But this, unfortunately, story doesn't end because that's got into your blood. Now you want to go to the next orbit, then you want to go to the next orbit, and that's what life is all about. See, in the end of the day, we all grow old, we all die, but that doesn't mean that we don't live. So the first thing I'm saying, you all decide the way you want to live. What is the chart? You so this is what I'm saying is my ideas. They are not written in stone. You could do whatever you all feel like, but this is what I feel normally. So when I say comfort zone, some people are not comfortable and they are doing whatever they are doing. 
and I, you know, I often say, I'll give an example of a very sad example, a person who's, you know, cleaning this with a broom. Do you think he's happy or she's happy doing that? No. But you see, she's very uncomfortable. But that's her comfort zone. So, she is uncomfortable in her comfort zone. And I can tell you something. Do you think she can't do it? Do you think she can't get out of that cleaning room? She can. The simplest way would be, she takes a contract for the whole building and she gets 10 people to clean the broom, with the broom. So she becomes a contractor because she knows to clean very well and doesn't take to cost money. So what I'm trying to say is, so she can go to the administrator and first of all, she should do the best cleaning possible in the room. She should be just too good in cleaning. She should love cleaning. So she's not com uncomfortable. She's loving what she's doing. And then, because this is the most clean class and, and the best place to, the administrator would understand this is a really gifted person. And they would possibly give him a, give that person the contract. And that person can then get out of her comfort zone, to the next comfort zone. That now she's man cleaning the whole block or maybe the whole um, institute, institution. So what I'm trying to say, so she's now become an entrepreneur. And instead of being an employed person, now she's an employer, employing more people, right? So it doesn't need money. What I mean to say is that, so when I say a comfort zone, People are often uncomfortable in their comfort zone, but that's their comfort zone. So I feel life is all about getting out of your comfort zone to the next comfort zone, where again you're going to be uncomfortable, and again to the next zone, yeah? So I have crossed at least 10 zones if you ask me, and I'm still uncomfortable. Yeah, I understand there's no meaning of money, I can, I have almost everything now. But it's not money. So it's what? So that boredom doesn't come in, stagnation doesn't come in, so you have to do something. Now, this something could be for yourself or for the society as well, you know, it, it's not necessary that you are doing something People are so much in their love with their idea, they say ki main, or if I share this idea with others, they'll copy it. Come on, if your idea is so easy to be copied, don't do it, it's too easy to do it, right? In fact, sharing your idea, don't be in love with your idea. Right? Idea is just one element. In the brain, in one instant, thousand thoughts run. And I'm sure they may be running right now in your head. That's the complexity of a brain. So ideas keep coming and going. Ideas have significance, yes, but they are not everything. Execution is things. So if you want to do something, you have to execute that. You have to bring that idea to a, a form or a software or whatever into the real world and then you have to go and say, see that this idea is not yours alone. This is used by the world. This is used by more and more people, right? So, so you have to execute and in that you have to see the nuances of it. Are willing, people willing to pay for it? You know, are they willing to give you a fair value for it? Only then will you make some money. Only then you'll be able to grow this idea to a bigger stage or stuff like that, right? So idea is, is, is very important, my opinion, but it's not everything. Execution is key. The best player in the world would have limited resources. His physical body has limited resources. The best businessman would have limited resources. Money, talent, resources, natural resources sometimes. So everything has limits. Now, Coming to our thing, as an entrepreneur, when you get into the journey of an entrepreneur, the first thing other than the idea would needed would be money, right? So I've mentioned over there, kabhi zindagi mein na kisi ko kehna nahi hai, tell you, telling you, ki kaash mere paas utne paise hote. You know, it's a, it, usse hasi aayegi logon ko. क्योंकि काश मेरे पास 500 करोड़ होते तो मैं फाइव स्टार होटल बना लेता धावा वाला अगर आपको ऐसे कहे तो आपको क्या लगेगा तो ये काश होता अपने लाइफ में से निकाल दो जो है उसके साथ लेस कंसंट्रेट ऑन व्हाट यू हैव वहां से शुरू करना चाहिए कि मेरे पास हैं कितने यार मेरे जेब में कितने पैसे हैं 
अगर आपके जेब में एक लाख रुपए है तो एक लाख रुपए वाला बिजनेस शुरू करो पांच लाख वाला कर लो यार दो लाख पांच लाख वाला कर लो लेकिन दस करोड़ वाला मत करना शुरू में और अगर आपके पास पैसे थोड़े ज्यादा हैं दस लाख रुपए हैं तो दस लाख वाला पांच लाख वाला करो कि दस ही लगने वाले हैं पांच लाख के वाले बिजनेस के आइडिया में दस लाख लग जाएंगे लेकिन फिर वापस दस करोड़ वाला मत करिए सो देर आर टू थॉट प्रोसेस इन दिस लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग वन इज देर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल टूल अवेलेबल और एनवायरमेंट अवेलेबल टूडे ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फंडिंग सीट फंड अवेलेबल फ्रॉम एंजल्स वेंचर फंड आर अवेलेबल प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड आर अवेलेबल the difference between all three i'm sure y'all know i'm sure but seed is essentially when your idea is at a seed stage okay and the plant is not even taken off so seed hai yaar ek do patte nikle hain theek hai to aapko koi seed funding dega 25 lakh dega 50 lakh dega 20 lakh dega depend karta hai for a share in your company venture funds are not interested in those seed funds venture funds are where seed fund jab wo दो पत्ते होते हैं लेकिन वो प्लांट बन जाता है तो यू हैव अ स्मॉल प्लांट बट नाउ दिस प्लांट एंड यू हैव सम टर्न ओवर सो नाउ यू गो टू अ कंपनी वेंचर फंड एंड यू गेट वेंचर फंडिंग व्हिच कुड बी फ्यू क्रोर्स सो फ्रॉम 25 फाइव लैक्स फ्रॉम अ सीड फंड नाउ यू गेटिंग टू फ्यू क्रोर्स फ्रॉम अ वेंचर फंड और नाउ यू फेयरली बिग एंड यू हैव अ फ्यू क्रोर्स टर्न ओवर मैन यू वॉन्ट स्टिल बिगर टर्न ओवर to take on the multinationals or bigger corporates then you go to a private equity player where your funding could be 50 crores 100 crores so from seed fund from few lakhs to few crores from venture funds to few hundreds of crores or tens of 100 uh, crores from private equity all those are things which are awesome but i'll tell you something keep it aside very few people get funding okay so don't live don't try to live a dream which only very few people are likely to get i would say i am a very very strong believer very strong mark my words are jo resources hain usme jeetna hai yaar and i must tell you something i passed on 1985 there was no internet in those days right there was no desktop in those days there was micro micro microcontrollers AD85 and all those kind of uh, kits that were available we would write small programs on them so there was no desktop in my days we had a TRS80 in our college Tandy Radio Corporation ka jis pe hum log ko kabhi kabhi kisi kisi ko haath lagane ko milta tha desk keyboard par alternately i i you would not know also we would write a program in fortran or whatever and punch it on a card okay you wouldn't know about that there is a card like that is a card when which you punch there was an icl machine from international computers limited you punch that card make a bunch of cards go to the university i would go to the pune university in a cycle give the card and then go next day to collect the report of that program so that is a programming background i come from and today i have a company in which i would say between 15 to 20% of indian non telco isps run our software all over india in hundreds and hundreds of places so there was no internet when i was born so where did i get that from mai to kahun ki mujhe to yaar internet hi nahi pata to resources matlab unko jo aapki limitation hai usko apni strength bana dijiye believe me i'm telling you jiske wo jo aankh se dekh nahi sakta wo acha sun sakta hai तो जो आपकी कोई लिमिटेशन हो उसको साइड में करिए उसका तो कुछ नहीं किया जा सकता आपकी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है स्ट्रेंथ को ढूंढिए ओके और स्ट्रेंथ से आगे बढ़िए गो एंड मीट योर पॉसिबल कस्टमर्स सो सपोज यू हैव अ प्रोडक्ट फॉर वाटर प्योरिफिकेशन द म्यूनिसपैलिटी और द सिटी सिटी सोसाइटी वुड बी योर पॉसिबल कस्टमर सो सपोज दे कुड बी सो मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज विच विच यूज वॉटर which also discharge water so now you have an input and you have an output and you want to purify that so this could be a very good case even for private enterprise again uh, government organizations could be good customers but they are difficult to get so starting off with 
private enterprises as customers is a better alternative. Again, I'm not saying government, but it could take you more time. Sometimes you get a good guy, a nice babu, maybe he will get it also. But, but you know, you can't be pushing only your luck. Without luck, how do you get it? Is what I'm trying to say, right? So, you can go private enterprises. Say, this is our product. One He's not the end of the third. He has the end of the third. He has the end So, you know, what I'm trying to say, or if you have a customer, so what I'm trying to say, now you have an idea. Hai. Customer nahi hai. The best way to make your idea or product a reality is to go and meet customers. Now, I have often seen people, and in the past also, even I have made a few mistakes, is that I so I'm so much in love with my idea and so bogged down with my idea that I forget to see whether someone needs that idea also. Maybe no one is interested in your idea. It's a good idea, but there's no commercial value for it. Suppose. So the best way is that you go and meet a few possible customers. Dekhi wo aapko koi bezati nahi karta. Agar koi kisi ke paas aata hai, to wo aapko milega kahega thik hai bhi. I like your idea or I don't like your idea. Okay. And sometimes that person, and you have to convince him like you are trying to sell that idea, not on taking an opinion. See, this can begin in multiple phases. You can first ask that person's audience that I want an opinion. But later on, if suppose your idea is good, he will also say even I am interested. Right? So, you could, so begin with your customer in mind. Go and meet customers. Don't postpone this. So, biggest mistake people do is they postpone meeting customers. I make a list of my potential customers. I will do exactly what I will do. I make a list. I say that Lodha Builders, Raheja Builders, okay? DLF, hai. believe me. I make a list of the top 20 people. And I make a prototype that it works. Now I don't get to the Pune. I don't get to the top. If I don't get to the top, then I will get to the top. I will get to the top. Gatekeeper se kuch nahi hone wala hai, wo time pass hi karega aapka. You have to meet decision makers. So suppose you are not able to meet a decision maker, meet a person who can influence a decision maker. If suppose yahan par aapka darwaza nahi khat khat, nahi, uh, no one is answering, go to the next door. I'll go to the next builder and the next builder and the next builder. But I won't stop. See where you put in so much energy in your product, why would you not put equal amount of energy or even more to find a customer? And I'm telling you with absolute confidence. Is there any other way? Aapka product ka market hai. Aapko lagta hai. Customer ko jaake milie na. Why are you postponing it? See, the worst case scenario would be that person, worst case scenario, will give you, it will be the best case scenario for you. He will actually tell you to modify your idea. Tab mein leta hon. See, you're not in love with your idea or you're not married to your idea. Suppose I say, ki thik hai, ye aap kar rahe hai, mujhe itni automation nahi chahiye, kam automation chahiye, lekin ye product mujhe chal raha hai. If you have an idea, go and meet the potential customers for that idea before, don't postpone it. Meet them at the earliest. Two, three things will happen. You will understand whether there is a market for that idea. Second, you will get to know ki idea ko modify karna chahiye to become marketable. Right? Okay. And third thing you'll know, what are people willing to pay for it? So, it is all going to benefit, benefit you only. Ideally, pursue ideas which have a big market or a big impact. Suppose I have a product which very few people are going to use. So, it's a very niche product. Uh, I think, again, people do that as well. But my opinion is that you should address bigger problems which have bigger impact, bigger markets. So if your market is big, suppose you are addressing a 10,000 crore market and you get 2% market share, it's still a big market. Or 1% market share, it's still 10 crores. So what I'm trying to say is that not necessary, we are not talking, let's not talk in numbers and crores. I don't want to scare you all. Okay, numbers uh, come when the time is right. 
my point is that you can start small, make it profitable, but then go to the next level. So you have to change your orbits. Otherwise, you get stuck in your rut. There are people who will open a shop. That is not an entrepreneur, if you ask me. An entrepreneur is somebody who's pushing his limits beyond his resources constantly throughout his life. Don't give up. You know, unfortunately, people give up. They give up a little just before they could have got. I'll share with one example from my personal life. I started Spacecom Software Division in 2002. And as you would know, software, there is no market for software with an incomplete software, right? Now, we were a products company. So very few products companies are in India. So most people in India are software uh, companies who are doing software for others. Outsourcing karte hain. Lekin apna product banana hai. Toh outsourcing aap paanch admi se kya ek admi se bhi kar sakte ho. Mein aapke liye app bana dunga. Toh ek outsourcing hoogi. Phir aapko ek website chahiye website bana dunga. Ek program likhna hai program lik dunga. Lekin agar apne khud ka product banana hai. Toh wo aap partly nahi loge. Agar mein app le raha hoon toh aap se 25,000 rupi advance bhi le sakta hoon. Lekin if I am making a product. I can't give you a half cook product and ask expect money. Then you want a Pakka, a nice product. So, in 2004, more or less, after almost two years of struggling to make a product, we were making very good progress on the product front, but we were not having any revenue. And I was running out of patience. So, I had a factory, but here I was spending almost two, two and a half lakhs a month from whatever limited a month every month to keep my company running. And I don't come from a rich background. I'm talking of 2002. But I decided, yeah. So I'll share with you a very honest thing. We never met, unfortunately, after that. So I, I only knew one, one or two people out of that. They were a bunch of people who met for dinner to discuss about issues they are facing. So everyone was given like five minutes or 10 minutes to introduce yourself and then talk about the problem I'm facing. Now I met them for dinner at Sheetal Arch and Linking Road. It's closed now. And uh, when my turn came and I said, I'm very happy, I'm successful. I have a few com couple of businesses, but my software business, which I've started, is struggling. So and I kept quiet. So somebody told me, yeah, can you afford the loss more? I said, looks like. They can, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. So, I'm tired. So, I'm tired. So, I'm tired. So, going to a company with zero revenue is not, not easy, believe me. And uh, because yeah, there are other alternatives, time is also restricted. But I'll tell you, I gave a few more months and we got a paid customer. So, Sometimes what happens is that you turn back just before the end of the tunnel. Okay. So my point is, if you think you are on the right track, gut feel says, thiki kar raho main. product acha hai, market hai, don't give up easily. Give up as a last resource, believe me. So often, so your okay, entrepreneur's journey, you'll, this will be always tested. You'll always have bouts of self-doubt, you'll, you'll come across people who will say sure, bad about it and some will say good about it, some will be diplomatic, give you no answer. Point is, what does your gut say, right? You have to go with your gut. Your, unfortunately, sometimes you don't have to listen to your family also. Though your family means you're good, but they don't know what you're doing. So you have to go with your gut. Right? If I would have le listened to my father, I would still be in the, working for Orson Naito, Hitachi, hota, IBM, hota, Siemens. Hota. Okay? He said, job is not going to be a job. It's a good job. But then uh, it's, it was not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. 
So sometimes your near and dear ones mean the best to you without showing disrespect to them. You have to follow your guts. I still never uh, went against him, but I also did what I had to do. So people say, risk is there. Risk is there, do it or not? In my opinion, there is a lot of risk in my So suppose you were looking for <laughs> becoming an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is there a risk in becoming an entrepreneur. You will lose two years of salary, right? So maybe you lose 10, 20 lakhs. Big deal, yeah. But the point is, if you don't do it, you could lose crores, yeah. You could lose your goddamn life, yeah. You would be living a life of a compromise. And you know, living like, kya yaar, kaash mein ho kar leta. So the risk is not in doing. The risk is in not doing it. Right? Worth the risk, man. I'm telling you. It's worth the goddamn risk, yeah. Karna si. Okay? Bindas mein risk lo, yaar. Ab jab tak haat pair salamat hai. Or uh, your idea is good and you have faith in your idea, worth the damn risk. Yeah. The risk is in not doing it. Honesty is not the best policy. I completely agree. Honesty is the only policy. Okay? Mind you, I'm telling you, kabhi bhi jugaad ya baimani lambe tak nahi chalti hai. Honesty is the only policy. You have to be sure, God, I'm honest man in the core of you. Okay? Baimani, you'll make some money. Maybe you'll. So, suppose I get into a team by mistake. How long will I last here if I'm not good? Maybe if I last, but will my conscience not hurt me? Or if I'm really, really good, maybe I'll not get into this team. Maybe I'll get into some other team, yeah. But I'm trying to say is never compromise on your integrity. Never. Uh, whatever may happen. You are watching yourself. No one has to watch you, yeah. So you are constantly evaluating your life. So if you're writing a mission for yourself, would you like to win by, by cheating? Don't just keep perfecting your product. Okay, this is very important. If you keep perfecting, 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 there is no perfect product there. Have you seen the first, first Mercedes Benz car? You should Google it. It will be very interesting. Google it. You will find a four, a four cycle, four wheel cycle. It's a cycle. Right? And so where is it now? What I'm trying to say essentially is, there is never a perfect product when you are into a product or a service. Perfection ke chakkar mein delay mat kariye. What happens is that you, say you begin, begin on with an idea day one. Now go to the customers, show them your product or your idea, get feedback and ship it as early as possible. Right? Suppose I would ship this water purifier earliest as possible or suppose whoever, whichever, right? Um, let's say their product, a doctory product. I will go to a doctor, actually a doctor or I will go to a, 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 a rural health center and try to push my idea. Ki aap try to kariye ya. Wo perfect nahi hai, dikhne mein perfect nahi hai, sab nahi hai, lekin functional to hai. Okay. And I will get their feedback. A real feedback here, who made a dushman hoodie, who just named a chance to see a product test karneka, who made a chai chata, who made a real feedback dega. Rather than I'm waiting forever, I'm perfecting my idea, perfecting it, perfecting it, and dealing it by one year or two years and six months. So it costs more. Also, one more thing, it's cost. See, with every passing day, you are somewhere losing. It's not time. You're also losing your opportunity. Uh, your, uh, so you're creating self-doubts. I'm telling you something. If a product is perfect and it's taken me five years or four years to make or three years to make or I had an option to ship it in three months and then perfect it. In five years, I would have few customers 
and I would have a better product than the person who made a perfect product. I started a product where I failed miserably, a product called FabPost. FabPost was started in 2005. FabPost was an Indian Facebook. It was fabulous posting, fabpost.com. I still hold the product, but we launched it after more than three and a half years. And I must tell you something, Facebook was not popular that time. I, one mistake, if I would have launched a fab post before Facebook came in your life, fab post would have been better. You could possibly have used fab post. But the delay of three and a half years, and our beta was ready in three months. The three and a half years because I thought, now I do more, 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 add more, 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 and Facebook was growing vertically. And I'm telling you, Facebook was not there as, as much. It was few people had heard about it. And we had fab post. So, I mean, what was that? We had to close fab post. I, I mean, it was not making sense. We gave up. So, what I'm trying to say is, I have faced this myself. And you know, this is a window of opportunity as Professor Kavi said. This opportunity is not going to wait for you forever. You have to pounce on it today. You know, if you, if you fail in something, see you're, I don't want to take any example right now, but I fail. It's not making sense to a customer. What I fail means somebody is not wanting to pay for it. Move on. So, I moved on from fat post, right? There's no point in trying to beat something that is not making sense. So, on the one hand, I said, don't give up. But when the writing is clear on the wall, move on without wasting too much time. When I have a customer meet, I never talk of my product. I talk of how can you grow. I'm always looking at how can you grow. They never come to me for my product. They come to me for advice. They come to me ki, yaar, yaar, to hai hamare liye. So I'm an honest company, we talk about our product, we don't talk about it. Sometimes it seems like I have to take my money, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about his business. Why am I doing it? Sometimes my colleagues say, why are you doing it? What's the problem? What do we have to take? I say, I have to take it. If it's successful, then we'll be successful. So a good company is that your employees, your team, कस्टमर्स का अच्छा सोचती है तो वो खुश होगा ना मुझे तो ये लगता है